Preact is a faster, easier, and smoother React alternative that no one talks about. In this video, you will know why React.js is in real danger. Preact is a smaller and light version of React, making it faster and more efficient. React is designed to have a smaller footprint and be more lightweight than React, which is advantageous. If you need to create a web application that loads quickly and runs smoothly, Preact has a much smaller size, which means that the initial load time of a web page with Preact is faster than a web page developed using React. This means better using experience overall. Another advantage of Preact is that it has a much more straightforward API, making it easier for developers to use and learn. It also has a better compatibility with other libraries and frameworks, making it easier to integrate in existing projects. Thank you, GBT3. Now it's my turn, bitch. What AI said a second ago was unfortunately true. React is a faster, lighter, and a better choice for some cases. But is it really a threat to React? Well, you tell me. No synthetic event handling, because Preact is based on browser ABI. With Preact, it is necessary to use additional libraries, like Preact Compact, Preact Test Utilities, etc. That's because you need to bring connectivity between Preact and React-based NPM packages. Preact lacks some of the features and capabilities of React, such as support for React Native and server-side rendering unless you use an external package called Preact Render to String. Preact doesn't even have one-third the support that React has. That means learning a new thing or getting support will f suck. Well, does that mean Preact is unusable and I should keep using React? Well, no. Then Preact over React, right? Well, no. Then what the f should I do? I would personally take a look at it, see how it works, and if I needed a project that is more suitable with it, I will make it. Then continue with my life dating and going out with React. And that's because Preact is better suited for smaller projects or applications that actually require a faster load time. For example, a simple landing page or a marketing website. You can do that with just a few components and minimal interactivity. Another example is a mobile app that needs to be loaded quickly and doesn't require the full features of React. Preact would also be a good choice for the projects that need to be run on low power devices, as it has a smaller memory footprint the React. Overall, Preact is a great choice for projects that don't require the complexity and performance overhead of React. Basically, anything that prioritizes lightness and speed over functionality. Like when I tell you I'm going to be your mentor with incredibly budget-friendly mentorship program with incredible benefits and a 7 days free trial. It's down below. Oh, by the way, Next.js 13.4 has arrived and so do my 3 minutes tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.